Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Huber, and in this video, we have another Puzzle Crate unboxing. This is the October box, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, looks like we got two puzzles in here. Cool, cool, some kind of Mega Minx thing. And a Land Land puzzle. All right, so it looks like the two puzzles are the Star Pyraminx and the Phoenix Mega Minx. Um, so why don't we go ahead and start with the Land Land puzzle, which is uh, the Star Pyraminx here. So it says, believe it or not, the Star Pyraminx is actually a 12 axis puzzle in a Pyraminx shape. The resulting puzzle is one of the more beautiful pyraminx shaped puzzles we've seen in a while. Unlike a normal pyraminx, each turn is a jumbling and shape-shifting move. The turning is a bit stiff, but smooth overall. It can become more challenging to turn the more scrambled it gets, but as long as you turn with care, it shouldn't give you any problems. A few drops of lube could help the puzzle turn more smoothly as well. The Star Pyraminx is perfect for any challenge-hungry puzzler or collector. All right, so uh, probably, I'm assuming, another challenging puzzle. Uh, the last few puzzle crates have all been very difficult. All right. Wow. Okay, so here is the puzzle. This is uh, very, very cool. Okay, so it's pretty clear how this moves. You basically just turn it on the edge like that. Um, interestingly, I'm. this actually looks like a uh, Clover Cube Pyraminx, or Clover Pyraminx, I guess, which is great because that's basically the one cube that was missing from the Clover collection. We had all of the platonic solids. It's been a little while now, but I did do an unboxing a little while ago of basically all of the Clover cubes, which is um, the Clover cube, which is obviously a cube. And then there was a dodecahedron, a icosahedron, and there were two versions of the octahedron version. And now we finally have a tetrahedron version. So basically how the Clover cube works is uh, it's an edge turning puzzle but turns on uh, two axes of rotation for each edge so there's an axis here and an axis here for every edge so i've never actually solved one of the clover puzzles uh, they are very very difficult and hard to even scramble i'm not sure what this puzzle is going to be like but i'm just going to start scrambling it and see uh, what kind of happens here so right off the bat, there's already moves that are being blocked. So I'm gonna try and be kind of careful in how I scramble it to make sure things actually get mixed up um, before it gets to a point where you can't turn anything anymore. All right, so I'm really getting pretty stuck here already. Um, can't move that, can't move that. All right, so... Um, it doesn't feel like a very good scramble, but I'm just gonna go ahead and call that scrambled, I guess. Let's see uh, if we can bring this back. I don't feel like it's gonna be that easy, but let's just see what happens here. So, um, I guess what I'll do is basically just start making moves and see what moves I can unlock. Um, so, Pieces are already fairly well clumped together. But let's see, the piece that needs to go on this side is I believe this corner. So I think we can do, I don't know, not quite. This piece is rotated wrong actually. So maybe we have to turn it around and insert it from a different angle. Let's see here. I feel like I'm just scrambling it more the more I'm turning it. All right, so let's actually take a look at what's going on here. Um, the axes of rotation are these pieces. So we should be able to do cycles around these pieces as long as we kind of take it out, uh, or not take it out of its jumbled state, but just get all of these pieces to lay flat. That's my goal right now. Um, so there we go. So now there it's laying flat on all of the sides. Now we should be able to do cycles between these pieces. So this green piece needs to come here. So we might be able to do a cycle kind of something like this. And then we can't do a turn here. So maybe we can unlock a turn. Yeah, there we go. And now we've cycled that piece in there. Okay, let's see if we can get all these big corners in place. This corner has to come here. So we can do something like that. That's pretty straightforward. This one has to come here. Again, I didn't, I felt like I did not scramble this very well. So a lot of this is coming together relatively easily. Um, 
Yep, we can do something like that. So we're already pretty close. Let's see if we can turn this. We cannot. So maybe something like this. And then turn this around. Trying to just open this up a bit. This needs to rotate. Okay, we've kind of got it flattened out except for this. This needs to come up in um, this orientation. Okay, that's solved actually now, but not the pieces around it. So maybe we can temporarily break this up just to do something more like that. And then get this piece into not quite that position. Let's see here. So this needs to turn in from that angle. Ah, oh, but it's twisted wrong. Darn. Okay. Of course, it's going to be these last few pieces that are going to give me the most problems. <laughs> if I turn that around, that's also twisted wrong. So I think I kind of have to do a little bit of a cycle, maybe around. Wondering if I can do a little switcheroo right here. Oh, uh, well, that's still twisted and wrong. Uh, I'm digging myself a deeper hole here, it seems like. Okay, now I think we've basically just got it isolated down to one corner. I don't know what exactly we're going to be able to do, though, with just these pieces. Because we're very limited in our options unless we start breaking up other pieces. Um, honestly, I am stuck. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it there um, because I am not making any progress and I don't really know where to go from here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made so far. I think based on that scramble, which was probably not great, uh, I did, I feel like I did okay getting it fairly close. All right, cool. Well, that is the Star Pyraminx. Definitely looks really, really cool and is, uh, is a neat puzzle. It, it, it'll go well with the rest of the Clover Cubes. All right, let's move on to the Phoenix Megaminx. Recently released by the puzzle manufacturing company Shengxiao, the Phoenix Megaminx is a variation of the 12-sided Megaminx puzzle. It shapeshifts and jumbles, meaning certain moves can become blocked, which makes it more challenging to solve. The puzzle is mostly solved by shape since there are only three colors to match up. The puzzle comes in a variety of different color combinations and whichever one you receive is random. As usual for Shengxiao, the turning is very smooth and the overall quality is great. Okay, so um, kind of a Megaminx modification of sorts. It looks like, yeah, there's a couple different color options which you see on the box. Uh, the one that we got is the one with, looks like green, red, and blue. Okay, so here is the puzzle. Uh, very neat, okay. Yeah, you can kind of see how it resembles a Megaminx, but the sides are, it, it's really weird because the only sides that actually look like a Megaminx are the top and bottom, right? So you have your top and bottom faces. But then the side faces, they're kind of on the edge. They're a little bit off kilter, which is pretty weird. So you kind of get these types of moves. Let's see, how does this uh, bandage? That's what I'm wondering. Because the bandaging is going to be very, very, very annoying. And what have I done? I think I've already messed it up. No, I already messed it up. Well, um, I haven't done that in a very long time where I've just accidentally messed up a puzzle like within the first minute of using it. Um, I don't, I can't for the life of me figure out what I did. Um, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I guess we'll just have to scramble it then. I'm very curious to see where this bandaging comes into play because as far as I can tell, right now all the moves you can are still viable there's nothing that's it's just a shape-shifting megaminx basically is what it seems to me all right so i'd say that's a fairly good scramble 
Um, as it's very much dominated by red. It's definitely uh, kind of makes it look not quite as scrambled, but uh, yeah, so far I still haven't experienced any bandaging. Uh, what I'm thinking is just that because of the weird like shape and stuff, it's kind of makes it seem like you can't make certain moves like right here. Uh, it seemed like I couldn't really make that move, but it was just some pieces that weren't really aligned properly. So uh, I think it's just the shape that's kind of throwing people off, but I don't think it actually jumbles. So what I'm going to do is um, start with green and let's see if we can just build our first face here. I think all these centers are actually identical. So lining up edges is actually not going to be a hard part because I think we can just align all of these centers like this and then insert in our edges just one at a time nice and easily so that's got to go in from let's see <laughs> come on wait no how does this go in there let's see yes and then we rotate our center like that Yes, there we go. Okay. Okay, this solve is probably going to take a little while just because Mega Minx shape mods tend to take kind of a long time just because there's a kind of a lot of pieces to solve. All of these pieces on the green side are identical, so it does make things just a bit easier. Let's line this up like that. Turn it in. Okay, now for the corners. How does this, how is this going to work? Okay, so they kind of... It, the corners are weird, right? Because you don't see them from the top face. They're only visible from the side, which is kind of weird. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking is there, it's possible that there could be some weird parodies because all of these pieces are like identical. So if you get pieces that are swapped, but they look identical, it might create some problems. I don't know uh, what parodies are like on Mega Minxes. So if they can happen with Mega Minx shape mods. So uh, I guess we'll find out, right? Great, all right. Now for our edges, all of these edges are pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure they're the same. <laughs> yeah, right, because that matches there. It just has to be inserted from the right angle. So now this should match, yep. So, yep, this matches from this side. Now that piece is in, that one is in but flipped wrong. So let's just replace it with another piece, this one. And then we need a piece here, which is gonna come in from this side as well. All right, there is our first two layers, you know, first two layers equivalent of a Mega Minx done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do all these red pieces. And then for the last layer, all we have to do is just orient the pieces and that should be it. So I will uh, keep going. All right, now we are just on to the last layer, which should be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and orient the edges. Come on, it's kind of tricky to turn. And then we just have to twist these two corners. So I think with the parodies, um, I don't think we get any because there's so many identical pieces that they kind of just all cancel each other out, honestly. So I think it would be very, very unlikely to get any kind of parody if it would even be possible to get one. And I'm still not sure if that's true or not. All right, so then let's rotate this around. There we go. All right, so um, unlike what the card said, there's no bandaging. This is basically just a regular Mega Minx and actually fairly easier than one because like I said, there's a lot of identical pieces and uh, it's 
it's just pretty easy for the pieces just kind of fall into place. Definitely a very, very cool looking puzzle though, and a very interesting take on a Mega Minx shape mod because it's still in the dodecahedron shape, but it's just uh, kind of been shifted a bit, which is neat. So yeah, that's about it for this month's puzzle crate. I'm sure I'll give this another shot at some other time, but <laughs> just not right now. Anyways, if you guys would like to check out Puzzle Crate, the link will of course be in the description. It's a $30 a month subscription service and you get new puzzles sent to you every single month. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.